Hey, stop chasing. Yeah, it's blink still. Oh my god, that was the fastest reaction time in the West. Hey, what's up, gamers? Today, we will be watching, adapting the world champ himself play a little Hoombats in the jungle. I uh, watched him play Loki jungle and it was nuts. Uh, I didn't hit the record button. So, here we are. <laughs> He was late to buffs, but it seems like it's not going to hurt him too bad. Uh, he went absolutely nuts in the Loki game, so I'm hoping he does uh, just as good as this one. He starts Boomba's Dagger and Mace. He is uh, going to be monkeying it up, pushing a lot of four buttons, hopefully. This character is kind of... I I'm eager to see what he does when he doesn't have all... Because this character, whenever I play it, feels like, wow, you don't do literally anything unless you're pushing four on somebody. So I am going to be eager to see what he does here. Deathwalker also in this game. This is an EU, like, 3K rated game. So we will see how it goes. So far, looks like... Who got cheesed? Oh, ADC got cheesed. That's unlucky. Looks like he's gonna play around this solo lane side because he is so weak. He has blink. He has everything. If Deathwalker stays, he is dead. Okay, he backed and teleported back in. Looks like he's just gonna get this neutral farm and then gank off of it. Oh, he went in. He might be dead here. I don't know. I don't know how much damage Monkey does this early. Oh, Ymir misses freeze. Oh my god. They definitely don't kill now. Oh my god, Ymir might die. What is going on? What is happening to this gank? Well, I'm figuring out what's going on. You guys should hit the like button. Cop, subscribe, check gamers. So thank you. Use code solid. I got sponsored. I also apologize for not uh, streaming and YouTubing as much recently. I messed up my back some kind of bad. I don't know what I did. I like was on the couch and I reached over to put something on the coffee table. Something wasn't right. I, I don't know what I did, but it's like shooting pains down my leg and stuff now. It's... I could barely sleep last night because it hurt so bad. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I did. I the the bad thing is it's like if I go to a doctor, what are they gonna do? They're not gonna do it. They're, muscle related stuff is like okay. If it's torn, you probably need surgery. If it's not torn, they can't do anything. So and I know it's not torn. If it was torn, I wouldn't be able to like move. So I'm just I'm suffering in silence. <laughs> Not silence, I'm very vocal about it. it. This shit hurts, but I will live. Extra strength Tylenol to the rescue, hopefully. Not a heating pad and an ice pad and pr praying that it gets better because oh my God, I couldn't like sit. Like all of yesterday, I could barely like sit in my chair without it not hurting. It was uh, not fun. Not a good time. So he's just farming it up. He's level five already. He has heavy mace, doesn't have Jotun's quite yet, so he's not that strong. But with Hoonbat Salt, hopefully he can do something. He has Blink also. Blink Alt, always good. Heimdall, kind of hard to next to impossible to gank if the Heimdall is paying attention. And if he has beads, he's actually impossible to gank. See, he's, he's gonna try to gank anyways. If they push here up here to this, oh, this is the dual lane bait. This is the dual lane bait of a century. Why is the Ann hurt? Oh my Ann her. You just misplayed that so bad. Ann her. Hit the squishy person, man. Why is Ann her unleashing the payload on the full like half HP tank? Just ult the Heimdall that has to stand still to teleport. Oh my god. That was... Gar I would flame him if I, <laughs> if I... If I was adapting, I would be flaming him. That was so bad. Him and Horus both went on the East set. That had so much HP. Just go on the Heimdall, man. Ooh. He sticks around for this gank, which is surprising. Oh my god, East set so much... So many disables, so much CC, you can't even play. Well, he tried again. The piece they resistance really was Anher pushing away the target that they were trying to hit also. God bless. It's like Anher player and Uller player is just 
they just they push their buttons. No thinking, they push. <laughs> Let me push. Uller players are like, "Let me jump into three people." I'm like, "What are you doing?" Oh my god, just cuz you can do something doesn't mean you have, you should. Looks like he's going to get mid lane farm here and then uh, probably chest camp. He's only level 6 cuz he stayed in dueling side so long trying to get that gank off. Looks like Ravana's going for an invid. Picks up back camps real quick. Ravana does have a bit of a lead. He's got to be a bit careful. I'm just looking to make sure I'm recording this time. Jesus. That, that's going to haunt me for a while. And the pick up the camps. Oh my god. Janice alt went, went past my window. That could have been very bad if that hit him. He almost has ult up again. I think he's just going to get both buffs and then back maybe he goes the solo lane side what is it he probably has his jotuns by now right yeah he has his jotuns by now so he's decently strong deathwalker went absolution first item okay why i don't know i don't know if i'll ever know what that man cooks up in solo lane that is interesting they can he gets all this farm he's like decently healthy enough he can stick around if he wants to he's he has blink all he can be useful still looks like he's just gonna get back camps and maybe gank right lane i don't know if they kill in right lane he might try anyways Ooh, a shop that's convenient Let's see what's he pick up he picks up tier one hydras and a ward and a health chalice that was a convenient shop for him, let me tell you what. He can stick around for a lot longer now. I think he was banking on that. That's why he stayed so long and didn't back. Probably. I don't know if there's somebody that knows the game more than than adapting. He gets an invade off. Ooh, it's another shop. It's like he can't gank right lane. These are the games that I I feel bad for playing. Like, when I'm in jungle and nobody's really doing anything to set up any ganks or, like, being aggressive or anything, I, I kind of get lost sometimes. And he just always seems to know where to go and what to farm no matter what. The fake Janus portal? Oh my god, he's, a, he's diabolical. He might have been able to alt that the second, like, after he didn't go in the portal, but he probably just beads it anyways. He does, uh, one thing I noticed when he played Loki, he does a good job of ulting, like, perfectly. Like, he saves ult, he's very patient with ult. Should be kills, yeah. Like, like so. He picks up the dirty doubler. That's actually so good for them, too, because that is a hard... Heimdall is a hard lane to kill, unless he, he doesn't have beads. If he doesn't have beads, it's a lot easier in this matchup, but if he has beads up, man, that guy's not dying. He teleports out or ults out every time. Seems like Ravana's invading their buffs now. I wonder if he's gonna meet him there or he's gonna go right side. It looks like he's gonna go right side buffs. He's finally 2-0. He, does he finish Hydras off that? No, he gets tier two Hydras. He gets another ward also. Mid laner got absolutely gooned. He got run upon. So when my mid laner dies and I'm in this scenario, I don't know if I should do double buffs or just my speed buff. It looks like he's doing double buffs anyways. Just saying, fuck the mid laner. Hey, don't die and you'll get your XP. That's generally my philosophy also. Uh, he gets a mid wave out of this also. He gets a, a big moon rock in the mid lane. So he might not get this. Sticking it. Oh, uh oh. Oh my god, they're ulting him. He shouldn't have sticked it. <laughs> that was a little bit greedy. I can't lie. He just had no way to get him off of the rock, anyways. So I, I think that was only a lose lose scenario. I think he w wanted his Horus to do literally anything. Horus hasn't really done. He stayed in dual lane a lot this game. For a character with a global alt, he's staying. Oh my god, Ymir, no! Watch out! Dude, the Avengers showed up right there. One came from behind, the front, the side. 
<laughs> I'd be, I'd be like, what the fuck is going on, guys? Uh, okay, what's, uh, does he pick up full hydras now? No, he's still a little bit short on hydras. Looks like they're pinging for gold. The mid laner and support are backing at full HP instead of doing anything on the map. That feels bad. That does, that never feels good. I bet he's real tired of ESET hitting him with every CC ability in the game by now. He's about to be level 12. He's about to get Hydras. He might just want to back the second he has enough gold for Hydras. Chess camp is following here across the land. He gets it for free? Hell yeah. <laughs> he's level 12 now. It looks like he's going to do back camp. Oh, he's doing mid camps. He's pinging him. He gets portaled. He can pick up Relic here. He has all. If they get this kill on... Oh. If they get the kill on Ravana, he's worth it. Oh my god, what a portal. He doesn't have any follow-up. He's somehow out of there. My god. If, he, if they get that kill on Ravana, he's worth a billion gold. And I think he knows that. Oh my god, Ravana missed. He's weaving in and out. Wow, he's so patient. I would have never fucking stayed in this fight. I would have backed. He does go down, but he ended up getting like leading to two more kills. I am never staying in that fight ever. He just knew his teammates would actually do damage to like clean up. That's crazy. I would have never, <laughs> never in a million years would I have stayed in that fight ever. I would have left. And he got rewarded for it too, which is crazy. He finally gets Hydras. I think he's going into Transcendence next, maybe? I'm just looking at everybody's build. Deathwalker is Absolution Breastplate of Valor. Ravana finally dies. He was 4 and 1. That's a good shutdown. Ymir is Pythag's Void Dormammu. Domaru? However, whatever. Dormammu is way more fun and funnier to say. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, yeah, he is... Another ward, health chalice. I think that's a transcendence going to be eventually. Looks like he's just gonna get his farm and then... Ooh, there's a lot of action coming middle. They might be able to go on the Janus here. He's definitely just looking at him, trying to hunt him down. Oh, he's changed his mind. It's time to farm, mayhaps. Looks like he's gonna try to help on the go. Oh, the Anher. Looks like Anher got out of there just fine. Wait, he has two levels on the Ravana. He's three and two. Ravana is four and one. How's that even possible? Dude, every game of spectator of adapting, he always has a level lead, no matter how well he's doing. I don't really know how that's possible. <laughs> like every single game I've watched, he has a level lead over the enemy jungler, no matter how well the enemy jungler is doing. This dude gets his farm perfectly. He's just running at the Janus. <laughs> he really wants that the Janus. <laughs> he doesn't have anything, but he does have blank. He's jumping in aggressively. He's doing some decent damage. His team got gold. He does not teleport in, which is probably a better decision because they are getting ganked by a lot of people. Looks like they have to run for now. He has ult up in 30? Probably too long to get, stick around this whole fight and wait for an ult. They might just disengage. He might go... Yeah, I was going to say, he might just grab this farm and then back. It's a lot of farm. Is he not going to get the wave? Oh, he's just going to get the camp? I'm... Okay, I'm stealing that wave 100% of the time. It fucks over the ADC, but like... Okay, he's actually just going to... Soak it. A non-greedy decision wouldn't be me. <laughs> I would be farming that thing. I would have been... I would have been living high, man. I would have been level 16. Oh, he's actually waiting for the gang? He ults it too? Oh, this is evil. Okay, he didn't farm that so he could hide in the side camp and get a gank off. Oh my god. Okay, that I never... I'm never doing that in a million years. What the fuck? Why is that genius? Why did he know that the Heimdall would push up to that? Oh my god. 
Greedy ADC players, man. Every time. Greedy boys. Pick up the buff. Oh my god, pick up the buff! Holy shit. That buff was juking him like no other. That, bu that buff's movement was crazy. What does he have now? Does he have- oh yeah, he has full transcendence now. He, get, he should get it stacked really, really fast. In all of his games, he goes transcendence and he, go, he builds it really late. Uh, where does he go next? It might pull Pyro? He's level 16. What level is Ravana? 13. What the fuck? How? I don't- I don't get it. I don't- They're the same level! Or they, they have the same kills, quite literally same kill participation, and he has a two level lead. Almost three. It's about to be three. What the... I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what kind of witchcraft he has going on here where he is literally always has a lead. It's nine to nine also, and they have a five, five K gold lead. Probably just off doing objectives, doing gold. That is, that's, <laughs> oh my God. That's crazy. Ooh, that got stolen. Unlucky. Yep. He can go in here if he wants to. He has things. He has alt. He has a blink soon. Ooh. There's extra people around that corner. I don't think he knew that Janice was there. His alt to save and her? Good damage. He's waiting to see if he should teleport or not. He does teleport. He has three levels on this guy. He steals the purple. He can probably keep fighting him if he wants to. He's just waiting for cooldowns. Hey, he avoids the damage. He's very, he's so patient in these fights. I am Oonga Boonging way, way, way more. No, especially knowing I have a lead. I'm just going, <laughs> and then I'm dying. He is so incredibly patient in all of these fights. It's insane. Dude, he just knows exactly when to go in and when not to, and when to just like dick around and poke, and like not full commit. I get it, dude. What the fuck? It's kind. It's actually insane. The differences. Okay, you said ulted the full HP tank, Ymir. Interesting. He's getting aggressed on by the Ravana, who is down three levels. Good. I think Ravana healed him. He can't really commit to this fight until he has ult, I think. Once he has ult, I think they're killing millions. Cuckoo missed ult also, which is tragic. I mean, they ha he, they still have a level lead. They can still fight this. He said's dead. Nice. He's just sticking around town, being patient. He still has ult. This is a really close game, 10 to 10. The gold difference doesn't say it, but like, kills and everything. Uh, pretty close. Looks like you're just gonna get a lot of soul lane farm. I think he's just gonna try to hit his level 20. As fast as he can. He's gonna get another wave. Yeah, he's he's pretty he's gonna be close. He's gonna be like nine and a quarter. He has transcendence fully stacked now. This next like set of buffs should get him level 20. At least very close, if not. He's going serrated next. I'm Eager to see what he decides to ult. Ymir just ulted the fucking speed buff. Interesting. Oh, Ymir. What is that guy doing? He can get speed buff. Yeah, he'll, he should get close to 20. He might just go to dual lane to grab the rest of this farm. Yeah. He's gonna go dual lane, get level 20, and then he's gonna monkey on some people. It's about time where Fire Giant's gonna be getting looked at. Gold Fury's probably getting looked at. He pinged that he was on uh, shield buff camp. I'm gonna gank the Heim, though. Besides not to, he's getting collapsed on by eight, eight people. Oh, Eset gets one hit. Holy moly, Eset getting one hit. He gets the shield, he can probably re-engage. He didn't really take any damage. He doesn't have alt now though, but they do have a 4v5. I think they just pull, they pull gold and then do it, surely. If they decide to fight them, then that's crazy. 
yeah, they get this in two seconds. This could lead to a fire giant. Oh my, Cuckoo all right past my window. What the? Has this Cuckoo hit an alt yet? <laughs> He's missing objectives, man. What's going on here? What's going on here? Oh my god, he's sitting in the- he's gonna try to cheese the, the Heimdall again? I don't think Heimdall's gonna push all the way up. He is level 20, he probably just backs and get his Boombas. Yeah, he has enough money. He finishes his Boombas hammer, that's gonna be a big difference in like all these fights. That just means like double the abilities and true damage and healing for him, which is absolutely disgusting. Looks like he might just go right to py Pyro? Does he try to solo this? Looks like he's just looking around for people. Oh yeah, look at that. He half helped it with one set of abilities. Christ how well he does this. My god, he didn't lose that much HP either. And he has his health chalice, so he should be fine. Uh, he could go right lane. Right lane's getting hit a little bit. He can go the middle lane. He's got options. They didn't pick up bomb. He puts ward, uh, ward down just so he can pick up the bomb. He could go. I, he might just farm his buffs again. I'm surprised they didn't try to aggro, look for like fire giant or picks or something with uh, enhanced gold fury, but. Not the worst thing. It's 11 to 11, but a 7k gold difference. That is, that is literally the difference of doing objectives after winning fights and not. And getting like cleanup kills versus like being the aggressor to get kills that lead to objectives. It's kind of nuts. Heimdall is possibly out of position. Possibly a Heimdall moment and he teleports away. Just ults him right off the bat. Oh, what a good push. What a good push. Oh, he got sent to Nippleheim. Something happening in the mid lane. Wow, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. He's gonna try his best to heal up off of waves and stuff. I think everybody on the map is accounted for, so he's not hes not afraid of pushing up here. He does have a bomb too. If he wanted to split push the tower, he could. Looks like he's just gonna back. He's probably gonna pick up Serrated. Full Serrated done, yep. Full Serrated done. He still has a bomb. He might just run at mid lane. By the time he gets there, he'll have alt. If they win that fight, they get fire, and that's probably just the game. He's kind of in a good, he's in a very good spot. He does a lot of damage right now. He does an insane amount of damage. He's definitely looking for those fights still. Oh, 20 and her. Ravana's still down in levels. Janus has kept up with them pretty well, but nobody else on the enemy team really has. Deathwalker has. Yeah, they have all, he has alt. They're pulling fire. If they just, they're only gonna get this if they Janus snipe it, and it looks like he knows that, and he's gonna try to play for the Janus. He's actually letting them push past. Oh, he didn't come through. That would have been such a good play if Janus came through. And okay, they still got the objective. Wow, he is doing a lot of damage. My God. Chasing the Janus. He has three. Oh, I actually turned to go on him. He's 1v2ing. Ravana is just not hitting him back, it seems. He stopped chasing. He yeah, has blink still. Oh my god, that was the fastest reaction time in the West. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That is game? Is that game? It might be. Ooh, maybe not. This is a little risky. They don't have two, they don't have two towers. He auto for 450. You just gonna? Oh God, Heimdall. Oh, he missed bomb. He's lagging. Oh, that should be game. Wow, that's game. Wow. Okay. He ended up seven and two, and he. I don't understand how he gets level lead advantage over the enemy jungler every game he w he was like what one in one or like two and two or something and R ravana was four in one and he had a two level lead on him oh my god he's too good man oh my god he out damaged everybody in the game
Do you have damage everybody in the game on a single target character? Oh my god. They're, these two didn't ward. <laughs> oh my god. He carried them so badly. Okay, well, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please tell me who I should spectate next time. Thank you guys. See you guys next time. Peace.